You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. As some of you mail me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards, Aiden's Path. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. We're gonna get us some kitty cat today. Oh, boy. The steam slowly disappears as I get closer. Oh, my goodness. His eyes are closed and turned away from me. It's a shame I can't get my eyes around to see the rest of his body. But whatever I was seeing was more than enough for now. Oh! Oh, hello there. Look at all that damn cake. Oh, my goodness. The thoughts I had in that moment can't be described. Seeing the view gets my blood rushing. He had the perfect body, athletic, muscular, but still a thin waist. His tail was swinging from side to side with different force in each swing, inviting in a way. I'm so lucky the circumstances allowed me to be here. I'm very satisfied with what I saw, so I had decided to go back until it's too late. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Out of here. As, as I said, don't want to be caught. Look at him, covered in shampoo. He will not see you. And the sound of him rubbing his rubbing his fur should make should mask your rubbing. I don't. And look at that cock. I wonder why. I wonder why he's almost hard. <laughs> what? Well, what cock? Oh, right. You can't detach your vision from your body like I can. Oh, he's big. Trust me. Or you could wait a little bit and see for yourself. Yeah, I should not have had that drink, because now I find myself agreeing with what Scribble says. I feel like I'm making a big mistake, but fuck it. <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow, this game did get loot. Holy shit. I on the counter and unzip my pants, pulling out my own... Yeah. There we go. Please be quiet. I'm really gonna do this. I just need... To concentrate. Won't say a word anymore. My lips are sealed. You have fun there. I look at Aiden's back. He reaches and touches his crotch, starting to stroke something with his eyes still closed. Although I can't see everything. I can't help but let my imagination run wild as I bite my lips. An image of me right under Aiden comes to mind, vividly. Looking at his well-hung body it makes it all seem real. I take advantage of the loud running water to get my moans of pleasure out. Those blue crabs are doing me a huge favor. I quicken my pace, trying to keep an eye, out for, an eye open for Aiden's ass. That's all I'll get if he does not turn around. And I did not have that luck. Oh, God. Finally, after only about a minute, I shoot the, you know, the, the blue, the blue, 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 all over Aiden's floor. My God, he's going to slip on that, isn't he? I give a sigh of relief. But some time, as Aiden gets under the water to get the shampoo off, I quickly take some toilet paper and wipe the... <laughs> uh, I thought you might forget about that. I always clean the crime scene. I sneak out and close the door as quietly as I opened it. I'd say that was a success. Consider my curiosity satisfied. I definitely don't regret that. It was awesome. Aiden gets out of the shower in a couple minutes. He seems happy. Very happy. He wears a towel on his head and around the waist that would get a reaction out of me if I didn't just see his naked body without them. Had fun while I was in there. You have no idea. Sorry I took so long, but you should have more than enough hot water left. I'll get some dinner while you're in there. Thanks a lot. Oh my god. I get in and as always I start... <sighs> I start overthinking and talking with myself, except that I now have a companion that hears my thoughts. You betcha. How do you even learn those words? I'm not even saying them. I don't think I've ever said betcha in my life. I'm watching some movies whenever outside gets boring. I have to say, watching a bunch of people working in an office is far more entertaining than your anxious ass. Oh, shut it. I have to take it slow. If I were you, my body count would be in the double digits by midnight. As in lovers or victims? What's the difference? Anyway, what do you think of Aiden? Hard to say. I did, I mean, did his personality change that much because he feels so bad for punching me? I don't want him to, I don't want him to like me because he feels obligated to. Or maybe he's a tough man with a soft heart. Aren't all humans' hearts soft? That's the only reason I ever liked them. The flesh itself is mediocre. Focus. <clears throat> yes, yes, of course. Focus on the stupid love story you're, you're creating inside your head. I'm all ears. What else you got? I don't want to get too much into it. It's too early. I mean, it is only my first day here, after all. So not getting in his pants anytime soon? Nope. I'll get back to my shows for a while. Call me when you get to the next step. You are one horny demon. Centuries, my dear vessel. Centuries with no bitches. I think I earned my right to stick my nose into someone else's relationships. I'm not complaining. As long as you're supportive. For now. 
That's enough for me. I get out of the shower. I look for my luggage or backpack. I can't find either. I put your stuff in the guest room. It's that one. He points to one of the many doors. Thanks again. I'll take one second. I hurry into the room before Aiden sees how awkward I am wearing only a towel around him. The room was nothing special. Just a bed, a nightstand, and a wardrobe. A window gave some, I gave the room some natural light. Not even many posters. I'd say he doesn't use the room much, but the sheets and pillow have visible usage marks. And everything is spotless. I take out some clothes from my luggage. And I get changed in... You guessed it. The exact same outfit. Because why change perfection? Good thing I brought multiple white shirts and jeans. I notice you're addressing some kind of imaginary fourth wall from time to time. Were you always this mentally ill or is it new? My mental issues are mine and mine alone. Trust me, I do not want them. I come out and see multiple plates of food on the table. Hope you don't mind takeout. I'm not much of a cook, and not many places are opened around this hour on the campus. Kidding? I'm so hungry I could eat anything. Good thing I had a big breakfast or I would be dead by now. Me and Aiden talked for a while, mostly about the new... Mostly about the show we were watching. Jennifer Rollins made him chuckle with her sarcastic comments twice already. That is a big plus for me, as I get to see his sharp white teeth. I don't know if he noticed I'm watching him most of the time and not the TV, but at this point, I kind of hope he did. It'd make things easier. Hey, Travis, I meant to ask you. Have you decided on a shard yet? Yeah, I did. I did a long time ago, actually, before coming here. I just didn't want to make the choice too early. Too suddenly. Oh, that's great. I have to say, at first, I found it a little weird you haven't, you haven't decided on a shard. Now it makes sense. So, which, um... He seems to really think about his next words. Which dish is your favorite? Wow. Um, I thought I had some food in me. I took my first real look at the table. It had a varied number of dishes, from Chinese to Mexican and Indian. That's a lot of leftovers. I like the, uh, butter chicken, I suppose. It goes well with the flatbread. And I can't live without bread. But the sauce and the noodles is also to die for. I was saying the same thing about it. <laughs> Each of us tried to change the subject from time... These just try to change from subject to subject as fast as we can, to forget the previous discussion topic. I know what he actually wanted to ask, of course, but I'm going to make this all more difficult and not reply. Aiden guided me to my room and opened the door for me. He seemed tired, and I don't blame him. It was a stressful day. Some people threw punches, others caught punches with their face, but overall, it was fun. We say our goodnights and part ways. I close the door behind me and jump on the bed. The sheets smell clean. I strip down to my underwear and get underneath them. Sleep comes easily when there is no, inter no internet to distract you. And when you have the fresh image of a hung tiger man in your head. I got more happiness in one day at this academy than an entire year in public school. I got punched in the face and knocked out, so that says a lot. Wednesday. A familiar shadow wakes me up, almost making me forget where I am. As soon as I remember, my eyes shoot open, and I get up and start dressing. There's a whole new day that's waiting to unfold, and I'm ready as I'll ever be. I've also decided to finally tell Aiden about my shard choice, seeing as he is not going to ask directly. I've been around the bush when the choice was made long ago. Hey, Scribbles, yep. I do not sleep. And what do you do all night? Watch your dreams. I've also discovered your Netflix memory, so I started watching those. You know, I just might like the way your kind took things, with evolution and all. You might be feeble and weak, but at least you know how to have fun. Even if the activities have a severe lack of blood. Um, thanks? Anyway, time to see my husband. Um, I mean Aiden. My husband. Wow. I open the door to the main room, connected directly to the kitchen in front of me. The sound of plates and kitchen utensils is all I'm hearing. So I must already be up then. Hey, good mo- Oh. Huh. Aiden slowly turns around and looks at me as the door opens. I try to keep my eyes on his face. His slight frown back on, but not a hint of aggression in it. Yes, this is the man I first met and known for about two hours. Is he back to normal? But again, who am I to question what part of his personality is normal? I assume he must have noticed my blush. I hope you do not mind my boldness. No offense, but I don't want to change my habits for a guest. None taken, and I totally understand, no pressure. Good. Now, for breakfast. What will it be? I'll just have some toast and butter. Absurd. You need energy. Today we practice. P practice? Or more like show off. It's mostly for the newbies to show us what they got. Like you. So get ready by filling yourself with energy. Then I suppose I'll have whatever you're making. He 
He lights up the stove, puts it on high, and gets a pan and cracks some eggs. Six eggs in a cast iron pan with no oil, no butter, no grease. I was too stunned to speak. Am I? I am a chef as much as a, as much as a clam and an, a clam as an engineer. But even so, I knew before me a cardinal sin was happening. I decided to ignore it and make some conversation. So he decided to join the Slayers Guild. He almost drops the pan. That is a big piece of information you just dropped. Are you sure? Yes, as I said, I made up my mind long ago. I thought I'd tell you before we get to practice. I had a feeling you'd choose it. Wait right there. I'll get the form. He disappears inside his room. I watch as his hips move from side to side and the tail swings until it disappears around the corner. So dreamy. Wait. What? Did... What about the eggs? Ugh, never mind. I'll try to save them. I lower the heat and start scrambling them, mixing the overcooked bits with the raw ones. Eh, maybe this'll do something. I get some butter from the fridge and throw it in, with some salt and pepper. I tried my hardest not to let the eggs stick to the pan, but I am no god. I managed to plate them and throw them into bacon into the throw the bacon some bacon into the pan. All this time Aiden is still out of his out of his room. When I'm done I decide to see if he's alright. I get close to his door and I hear him whispering. It wasn't loud enough to understand, but I only heard one voice, so he's talking to himself. A second later the door opens. He doesn't look surprised to see me right in front of the door. But he is completely clothed now. I won't lie, that made me a little sad. Apologies for the wait. I decided to get dressed because someone I I thought it was a I thought it was a bit inappropriate. Here's your form. I had some copies in my bag, so you can sign to the shard right now. Here's a pen, too. His movement hints at how eager he is for me to sign the paper, even if his face doesn't. I take the paper, place it on the table, and write the most confident signature I've ever written. After that, I look back at Aiden for a confirmation. But he's staring at the plates of food while bringing them to the table. Something wrong? Here's the form, signed and ready. I hand it, and he takes it without taking his eyes off the plates. Huh? Oh, good job. And, um, not wrong, but I was expecting these to turn up to s turn up sunny side. Sunny side up. Where did I go wrong? How do I tell him that he did not, in fact, scramble them or plate them or fry the bacon? Don't worry, I bet it'll still taste good. Well, yeah, I know my way around the kitchen, after all. You sure you do. But the texture is as important as the taste. I just need more practice. Practice doesn't make perfect. Speaking of which, what will this practice consist of? Banging the eggs. No! Bad. Bad nary. Well, for one, I need to learn to regulate the amount of spices I put in. And apparently salt is not even considered. No, no, I I'm in for today, at school. Oh, right. That. It's best you just see for yourself when we get there. There's nothing to worry about, anyway. The practice is never difficult. Someone like you, maybe. You shouldn't have much of a problem, either. Energy manipulation is not to be me is not to be messed with. One second, y'all. Alright, there we go. Trying to plug things in and read at the same time. Heh. <laughs> sure. We finish breakfast and get going. Thankfully, we won't we won't have a regular we won't have regular classes today. There we go. The classes are divided depending on the shard you're in, so that would be only after the test. On our way, we walk past the arena again, and that's where we'll be spending a lot of our time this week. Can we go inside? Yeah, but you don't want to get to your room num but you but don't you want to get your room number and key first? I don't mind playing host again, but a guest room might not be as comfortable as your own room. You're right. I almost forgot about that. So where do we go after for that? Or should I ask to whom do we address with my problem? That would be me. Hello again. Or me. <gasps> Hi. To my surprise, Aiden doesn't try to kill any of them for butting in. On the contrary, he greeted them calmly. You have nothing to do with dorm room registration, Tate. Well, I can always ask Marina where it is. <laughs> That's cheating. Cheating at what? Never mind. Forget it. Aiden sighs. Come on, I'll get that number for you. Hey, hey, don't leave us behind! The four of us walk together towards the main building. Aiden is walking just one step ahead of us. Down and me are talking about our favorite workout routines. It's very hard to pretend to know what I'm talking about. The only workout I ever did was running, because speed is the one physical attribute I can be somewhat proud of. He likes to work on his upper body, because all of his responsibilities take care of his legs, with all the running around the campus he has to do. Tate is trying to get some kind of reaction out of Aiden. Seems like I am not the only one who, who noticed his sudden chill vibes. But he is surprisingly calm about the little guy's attempts. That's why for the rest of our walk, the cat decided to stick with me and Aunt Dallin, offering his opinion whenever there was a chance. 
Tate did develop a nice body. He clearly liked to display from all his forest adventures, like digging a 20 feet deep hole in the road, for example. We arrive at the Slayer Shard meeting room, in front of the door where we stop. Thanks for walking us here, guys. We might see you later. Oh, you don't think we're just going to leave you two alone, right? It wouldn't be very polite of us. Yeah, besides, I want to see Hama murder you for running away yesterday. Aiden doesn't lose the smug smile on his face. He picks Tate up by his armpits. And hands him to Dallin. Here, take this. Dallin holds Tate like his arms, like like with his arms extended, like he's in a, like he's an undesired pet he has to take care of. Little cat's feet don't touch the ground. It's a fun imagery. Um, what should I? I believe someone has detention because of his missing signatures. A shard leader should be the one that makes sure he gets there. What? No! You can't shackle me with your completely fair laws. But I. No buts. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're a little busy. Dallin gives me a sad look, but I had to let them go. Rules are rules. Dallin! Dallin, please don't listen to that demon! He's playing you! Dallin puts Tate over his shoulder and holds his legs with his free arm. I'm sorry, T Tate, but he's right. See you later, Travis. In practice, maybe. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. I got some editing to do in this video. My god, do I have some editing to do. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye